Hi, this is James Hellenis. James, a wine guy, here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. This is Preston of Dry Creek Valley Carignan 2009 Vintage, 14.2% alcohol content, and a really small band on the bottom is really the back panel here. Now, this wine is made with organic grapes, and it's a fantastic place to visit when you're Dry Creek Valley. It's very charming. What I love about this place is you see that on the front steps of the tasting room is a little farmer's market or a little um, um, honor system where you can pay for vegetables that are grown on the property itself. And you see some almonds to taste on the side. And I think it's completely charming and a really fun way of experiencing what is the best in food and wine. In fact, on the label, it says that this is Preston of Dry Creek Valley Farm and Winery. So there's that, that linkage. There's that desire to have... Um, what is best on table is produced in one place and with such great authenticity and beauty. Now, Carignan is one of these grapes, as I mentioned in, in a previous video, that doesn't have a lot of respect, unfortunately. And some wine writers have written, oh, it's uninteresting. It's really not a wine that has a lot of complexity. And I think there is really a defining moment of saying, well, have you tried all Carignans? And I think the answer is clearly no. Um, maybe those writers have not. And I think for me, um, it's really... When a wine writer says something like that, I think it's really kind of devastating in some ways because it really is knocking out a whole category based on maybe your one's personal preferences. Um, maybe not yours, maybe not mine, but maybe someone else's um, w w might read this and say, oh, well, I guess um, if they don't believe it's a good wine to try, I'm not going to try it. And unfortunately, I think I, I really try to be very, very judicious and careful and even conservative when I come to wine writing and video um, taping because I think it's really important to dispense as much clear information as possible and give the, the feel of this wine versus my personal opinion about it in terms of like, is this exactly what I'd have on, a, on an ideal Saturday night? Um, that's not really what, what I'm trying to do here. It's just really to give out what this producer is doing and what they're, they're giving out. It's a fantastic wine. Now I've let this open up just a little bit. Giving some oxygen, it's just the notes on this are, are wonderful. Just the scent on this is just phenomenal. You're getting notes of rustic wood pile, um, uh, plum orchard in the fall time, autumnal time, my favorite time of the year. And then yeah, I think it's scented with notes of um, clove and suede. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's take a taste and I will tell you what this is like. I wish I could just share a glass with you online because I think it's absolutely wonderful. Here we go. Immediate notes of black cherry, black plum, uh, cascading to notes of spice notes, uh, cardamom, cinnamon, clove, and um, finishing off with some notes of um, thyme, some, some really beautiful um, herbaceous notes that are finishing on this, a little lavender as well, a kiss of lavender, and some chocolate notes as well. Beautiful wine, 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesawineguide.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and Google+. Salud. And Pinterest. Salud.